ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Justin Masterson Show. Uh, happy that you're here. It's not just me. Alongside me, I have my wonderful co-host, Mr. Matthew Zappazzotti. Well, good evening, afternoon, and morning to all those listening and to you, Justin. Oh, well, thank you. It is a wonderful night that we have today. Thank you for being here. Uh, if you're listening to it later on, uh, you should have been here live. It's a lot more fun when it's live. Uh, we are looking forward to having uh, one of my good friends uh, that I've gotten to know over the last year or two. Uh, Mr. Kiwi Morse is coming on pretty soon. For those of you who have no clue who he is, you're going to learn today. Uh, so it's going to be pretty awesome. We'll get him on in about seven, eight, nine, ten minutes. Uh, this is a busy time of year right now, Zappo, wouldn't you say? Well, we got, jeez, we got Christmas, we got New Year's, we got uh, end of year finances for all you business folks. <laughs> We've got uh, business, end of, nonprofits, end of year fundraising. Oh, man. End of your school. Yeah, it, it is a busy time, but it's fun. And uh, for all you Grinches out there who don't like the season, just deal with it. It'll be over soon. <laughs> then, the, then the snow will come. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Yes, there are uh, plenty of Grinches out there who don't love it. Uh, but it was my wife's birthday a couple days ago, and she loves this time of year. Uh, we had a fun time celebrating her birthday. And, uh, yeah, so it's... It is tough. My daughter has a bunch of tests this week, uh, which is not as cool when you're in seventh, eighth, probably high school too. Uh, my twins, not so much. But speaking of my twins, makes me think about a substitute teacher tale. What do you think about that one? <laughs> that was sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I love these because, uh, I mean, I'm not a teacher. I coach. My wife does the teaching in the house, and I do the discipline. No. Uh, but but these are great because it, you're the it, principal. It shows me a little light inside of of the classroom uh, wherever you're at. But it's also like I know these are just the highlights and just the, the randomness. There's no way this happens all the time. But anyway, I'm ready. Bring it. What well, do you got today? Uh, well, this this one it it doesn't just highlight. Uh, well, let's just say recess can be a little bit dangerous, and and that's where we're going to start out. Is I'm out of recess, so I am I'm subbing and. I think it was a third grade classroom uh, within the last couple weeks. And <laughs> I am out of recess. And, of course, former athlete. So these guys want me to come play with them. And so I am going out to play kickball. And it is my turn to step up. And I'm at the, pl uh, you know, I'm at the plate, ready to go. The ball's about to be rolled. But before that comes, let me take you back about an hour, hour and a half. I stopped by my twins' classroom because I just wanted to see how they were doing. Their teacher has this little spinny wheel. If you spin it, you land the star on it. They get something special. I spun it, didn't land on the star, so it wasn't special. But the teacher tells me, he goes, hey, um, would you be able to talk to your son? He's just, he's really emotional right now. Out at recess earlier in the day, um, he and another kid, they were playing soccer, and they were both going for the ball. And they smashed into each other. And fortunate for my son is he didn't really get hurt, but unfortunate for the person he ran into, uh, he, I think his teeth, Cruz's teeth went into this other kid, kind of put a gouge right on his forehead. And so there's just blood everywhere. And I'm not out there to see it at this time, but she's telling me about this. And she's like, he's just feeling really emotional from it still. And so uh, maybe we can... Maybe a dad could talk to him. And so, again, we're at school. I call him out to the hallway and say, hey, son, uh, you doing all right? And, and he's emotional. And, and I was like, you know what? It's, it's okay. It happens. You know, when you go out and you're going to play a sport or do something, especially out at recess, you're taking a risk. And the risk is that somebody might hit somebody and it might happen. And he's like, what? I'm like, what, what's your problem? He's like, I think I'm, I'm going to be in trouble. I'm like, I'm your dad. I'm here. No teacher got you in trouble. You didn't do anything on purpose. You apologized. It was an accident. Uh, I'm not going to get you in trouble. Like, you're perfectly fine. And, and so it made him feel a little bit better. And then I told him, I said, you know what? When I was younger, this happened to me all the time. Like, I didn't do it on purpose, but I would uh, be out playing, and I would just <laughs> bump into people. And because I'm usually bigger, uh, <laughs> well, they would get hurt, and I would be perfectly fine. 
And so he he feels better. He goes back in the class. He's he he's ready to take on the day. Fast forward back to where we were. It's an hour and a half later. I'm at the plate, about to kick the ball. Rolls it in. I kick this ball really nice. You know, we're playing on the uh, basketball court outside. I kick it to left center corner of the basketball court. Ball's going, and I am taking off for first base. Well, there's a kid who's playing first base, and and he decides that he wants to um, stand close to the base. And so I'm taking this trajectory where I'm going to go right next to him. And he decides that as I'm taking that trajectory, he wants to lean over ever so slightly to try and stop me. And sure enough, I can't move. I can't do nothing. And I'm coming around first base, and this kid hits off of my chest and into the ground, and he is down for the count. I mean, it was a train coming through, and he decided that he wanted to get on the train tracks. What is he doing? <laughs> I have no clue what he Come was on, doing. Bro. And so then he is just on the ground. I stop. I pick him up. I'm like, dude, are you okay? And, and he's like looking at me, and he's like, yeah, I think I'm okay. I'm like, okay, you're not concussed. <laughs> And then I take off for second base because I still had to keep on going. Like, we're not, we're not playing here. Well, what makes it even better is uh, <laughs> it was on camera. Now, really? I, I don't have this video with me, which I, I, I want it. I keep asking them to get it. So if <laughs> after school, not that day, it was a few, a few days later, after school, we are huddled around the office computer. And, and there we are, finally find it. And... <laughs> And the teachers are all gathered there looking at it, and they're like, oh, okay, what's, what's happening? They're like, all right, here's Justin, and here's the kid. Watch Justin when he encounters the kid. And I, you just see it again, and I just go, and that kid, he just, boom. Like, I had no chance. Bounces off my chest. And what got all the teachers is that I lift him up. They're like, oh, he's checking on him. And I thought I was, like, sitting there for a little while, like, making sure he was okay. Nah, it was, like, a split second. You're like, <laughs> get out of here, bro. <laughs> I'm taking off the second base. <laughs> and the teacher's like, oh, my goodness. Can't take the competitor out of the individual. And I was like, uh, I, I mean, I had to prove to the other guys. I mean, when I kicked that, that was a home run. And now it's going to turn into a double. Well, maybe we could – Get him a baseball card or something. I mean, <laughs> I, I know I know he gets to hang out with you during, you know, school or whatever. Right, but right. I don't know. Maybe we – I feel bad now that we're – but you're not actually making fun of him. You're no. just making fun of the situation. So no, the situation. The substitute teacher tales are epic. I love it. I mean, let's take this. And, 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 and to help out my son after school, I'm like, see, son, it happens to everybody. You mm. get out at recess and you take that risk. And sure – Sure enough, just like I told you an hour and a half earlier, I went and smashed a kid, not on purpose. And uh, they still ask me uh, back to teach. Wow. So, so wow. that's right. You got that right, H. No mercy, baby. That's a <laughs> comment coming in down there. My boy, uh, Chris A. Bear. No, ain't no mercy. I'm trying to win this game, too, because all these kids want to try and beat me in whatever we're trying to do. And if you beat me, you really beat me. Well, I mean, I got to say it about today. Like, uh playing silent ball see now i'm getting on a run for substitute teacher tales playing silent, silent ball, ball? Yeah, so so i'm in discovery uh substitute teachers half day this morning and silent ball is you're quiet but you have one of them little dodge balls and and you just toss back and forth to each other and if you miss it or whatever you're out or if you talk you're out and so we're throwing it and we get to it's me and one other kid who's left and he just unleashes one at me and i <laughs> I don't know. I guess I wasn't really ready for it to come that hard. Or maybe it wasn't that hard, but it hit my chest and it bounced and you missed it. I, I missed it. You missed it is what happened. <sighs> yes, I, I did. There's several grown men that have played dodgeball with you that are probably listening to this show. They can attest. I mean, you you might miss one or two, but you'll pound them later. Oh, I got him in the next game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's there's no question about that. I definitely got him in the next game. It, but so it is it is Christmas time. I, I you you gave me this really cool gift on our first episode. Uh, yeah, Baltimore I wanted more Orioles sign. I wanted to give you something. Uh, I don't know if it's a really cool gift, but you know it's Christmas time, and so I, I brought you some some cookies. 
Oh, look at that little gingerbread guy right there. Yeah, and they're decorated by my girls. And Emily will uh, attest that only a few spitwads or hair got in the batter. So I don't know if it's a really cool gift, but, you know, it's Christmas time. And Merry Christmas. So <laughs> I, I brought you some, some cookies. Uh, well, I oh, look at that I little gingerbread guy right there. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. Ooh, we girls. got some uh, double Emily action going on <laughs> here. Love it. Uh, but let me see that thing. All right. Oh, there's more where that came from too. Well, thank Keep you, girls. I I appreciate that. Yeah. Not my gumdrop buttons. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I have too much fun. <laughs> but before I digress too much, <laughs> oh man. It's a wonderful time. I can't wait. So uh, I I got my guy, Kiwi Morse. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the name, of course, you everyone was going like, who's this Kevy guy that's coming on with Justin later on? It's Kevin and Jason show. <laughs> and and so, uh, yeah, it, there, there ain't, it's not Kevy. It's like a key and a V. My guy coming from the outside. Uh, Kevy, not Kevy. He's an influencer of culture. He is the CEO at Cultivate Culture. He impacts young lives as a part of the Remedy Live school tour. Uh, he's just coming off of his uh, We Outside tour. Mm. He's technically an up-and-coming artist, even though he's been in the game for quite some time. Been here for years. Oh, been here for years. And so we're going to have my guy, Kiwi Morse, welcome him to the show. What's up, Kiwi? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Oh, we're doing great, man. How you doing? Thanks for having me. You doing well? I hear you jamming, bro. Yeah, you know, it's we just see you outside. Come on, man. You know where we we were all summer. <laughs> all, summer. all summer. Exactly. Yeah, we just hanging outside doing the thing. Hey, appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, just let, let the people know, how, how do we even know each other? Well, man, we met through a mutual friend, and uh, I feel like it was, you know, it was heaven sent when I met you, bro. <laughs> I feel like I've, I've known you for years and years. Uh You've been a mentor, um, you know, not only from, you know, spiritual, but just everything you do, man. Such a big light, bro, and uh, <laughs> grateful for you, man. Such a big, wow, big that's, kid. It's a lot big more it's a, it's a lot more emotional than I was uh, wow. expecting to come out to you. I, I classy. I appreciate those kind yeah. words, friend. <laughs> yeah, thank you, bro. Thank you, man. No, without a doubt. Uh, yeah, we – and. I'm just inviting you into this conversation. We'll get to know you a little bit more, and, and maybe after this we'll have you'll have some more fans uh, when it comes down to it. But this is something that's been coming up, Zappo. Uh, you know, we got uh, – people have been telling me a lot, Shohei Otani, you know, baseball player extraordinaire, for all you people who don't know, getting a $700 million contract from the Dodgers. Mm. And I, I got a lot of people who have been hating on that. They're like, what in the world – uh, how in the world could someone make that much money, all that type of stuff, they're paying them all those type of things. And so then I brought up, I go, well, I don't hear people complain about Taylor Swift. Mm. Like, she's making boo bucks out there doing her whatever tour. What, I, what, what tour is she on? Uh, Anybody know? It's Kiwi, you yeah. know? Her private jet tour. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> two, two jets, by the way. Yeah, two jets. Two jets. Make, <laughs> making billions of dollars. And, and, and this is what I said. You know, those people – they they've they've put in the work. They've been going at it hard, and I mean honestly, they've just been grinding and grinding to get to the point where they're at. And and so today, I, I just kind of kind of want to talk about you know the the grind as we go through it. And I want to hear Kivi as you've gone through the grind, and we got you know zap some stories and some other things. And it's actually interesting to me uh, because. You know, listening to one of these new store, uh, new songs, uh, Kiwi, that you had coming out in Ten Thousand Hours. So another song out there, I, it was like some of the lyrics go, "Everything come with a price," and I'm like, "That's that's the grinding motto. Everything has a price. You got to sacrifice. Whoa. You know, something for something. We trying to make it now. Now this is Whoa. this is his Jay Z moment where he goes, "They don't know about that process. They just Whoa. want it processed." Oh. And I'll tell you, I've been thinking about that today. So many people, they don't want to go through it to get to it. Uh, they just want it to happen. They just want it to be there. 
man, I feel like a little black, black reverend right there coming in. Come United Pretty. AME, African Methodist Episcopalian <laughs> Church that I went to when I was in high school. <laughs> mm, red beans and rice. You can smell it emanate. I can still remember the sermon that was happening. Uh, right. It was Billy great. Keep but, me, keep <laughs> me, you know he's Jamaican, right? Yeah. Hey, I know. I know where he was born. <laughs> <laughs> I know where he's born. It always, that's, hey, that's my Jamaican bro. That's it. Jamaican brothers right here. Come on, bro. You know, and 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 so then it, it gets me thinking. Uh, you're a sports guy, your music, mm-hmm. we're sports people over here. We got some sports people around. Like I think back to well, thinking about the church right now. When when I was practicing, like I I, I didn't have the facilities that everyone's going to uh this day and age. They probably were there, I just didn't pay for them. Uh but I actually my best friend had a pitching mound, and I took it, and I put it in the middle of the sanctuary. So right down the middle, up by the pulpit, but not up on, on top of the stage. And then I'd face back, and there was an opening in the back where I just hung down a net. And so then I would literally just work on my pitching in the middle of the sanctuary. You know, some people are going to be like, whew, that's sacrilegious right there. But in the middle of the sanctuary, I'd be throwing pitches. And and sure enough, if you were to go, there's a back wall that if you were to open it up right now, would find one of my baseballs. Because <laughs> I, I think I threw a slider or something, I don't know, fastball, went underneath the net, put a hole right in the back of the wall, uh, still stuck in there right now. So it's <laughs> – Come on, bro. Go, hey, go fix the church, bro. Oh man, so so tell me what your basketball. What uh, mm-hmm. what was your grind in basketball? Because I, I I thought you had a chance, Michigan State. You're Indianapolis, uh, mm-hmm. you know, guy was a Pike. Um, yeah, I went to, but I graduated from Manual. Oh, graduated from Manual, and mm-hmm. then like what happened when you were trying to go play some basketball in college? So man, I went to go trial for state. Um, I didn't make it. So um, there was this junior college. Uh, it's called Lake Michigan College. I went there, uh, tried out. Man, God must have been with me, y'all, because um, I was hitting everything, grabbing every <laughs> board. I was slam dunking. Hot man, it was different. Well, you're um, not little, right? How, I mean, what's what's your how big a boy are you? I'm about maybe six four. They say six five on paper, but I can, I got springs. I had springs. <laughs> so I was jumping out the gym. Uh, coach offered me a scholarship, and I ain't looked back since, man. I've been in Michigan for about 12 years. Nice. 12 years. Nice. And then you played a couple years basketball there. Yep. Did, yep. What did, what, why'd you stop? Why didn't you keep on playing? So I got done with the junior college, and then I got offered um, Division II, like uh, NAIA. Um, so went up there to play for Aquinas for a little bit. Oh. Um, that, didn't work, that didn't work out. Um so I ended up getting injured, um, mm. went from being like the top, you know, how you get injured and then you come, you like, you just come down the rank. Oh, you come down lots of things yeah. when injuries come in, man. I hate injuries. <laughs> Bro, I was sad. So I ended up getting healed up and everything. And I was, I asked my coach, I said, coach hammer, man, I got better, man. Can I get some time? Can I get some tick? And he still didn't play me. So I walked in his office and, uh, I just said, man, I think this ain't for me. So he took my scholarship and uh, the degree that I got from my junior college, I went to go be a teacher for a little bit. Um, teacher? Yeah. Substitute teacher? Yeah. Teacher, teacher. I was a behavior specialist. Yeah, so I dealt with all the, um, <laughs> the – yeah, those keep, keep people in line? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got did, any stories from them? Come. You got anything crazy that went on when you were a behavior, behavioral scientist? <laughs> what, what was that called? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Scientology. So I can't. I can't make it out. Hey, but I do have one of his shirts. I'm gonna represent right here. Yeah. Prayers are central from cultivate culture. Cultivate culture. On, Check out the links. Hey. Check out that link. No, I want to hear. I want to hear some sort. He may not have any right off cuff. But we might yeah, have to bring him back. I got one. Okay. There, there was this guy. Well, I said guy. There was this little <laughs> kid named Colin, and Colin, he needed to be like hugged and reassured that he was good like colin needed just that little pat on the shoulder man right. colin must have got in trouble one day had to come to Ms. mr morse's class and man he must have gave me a, a mouthful and th- end up colin end up i went to go hug him and colin end up hitting me man with a you know with oh, he, 
He decked you? Oh, down in the uh, in. the cojones? Yeah, he hit me. And, uh, yeah, I took a moment to just breathe because I didn't know what to do at the moment with Colin. I, mean, I didn't want to write him up. He so was already in trouble. He how, hit me. How, how old is this kid, roughly? He was only he was only five or six. Okay. <laughs> he, he was about six. But he had... He was very like he he stayed in trouble. He stayed in my class. <laughs> he stayed in trouble. He, he was good at being in trouble. Constant he trouble. And, and man, I could have easily, you know, there's a couple times I saved him. I didn't turn his referrals in. Okay. Was like, now now someone said, did <laughs> did it help him out? Was it beneficial for him uh, by you it, doing yeah. that? It was because I got to um, I got to see his meet his mom and dad, and I got to take a little bit a little peek into like his home life, yeah. and I can see oh, man. where like the rebellious like yeah. I don't know he had no discipline at home, so I didn't want him to get kicked out of the at school. Now, when you say he doesn't have discipline, like the parents didn't have any discipline for the him. The parents were very loose, like yeah. the, you can tell. Yeah. How I mean, how going on. how easy is it to tell when you're like. Mm. Bro. See the kid, kid causes trouble, meet the parents, and you're like, mm hmm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I feel sorry for you, son. Because <laughs> like, cause the par the parents were like the type that like they were literally arguing with their kid. Like they were art <laughs> like they had no like you know how you when you tell your babies to stop, they stop. Yeah. And if you need to lift that voice a little bit, you know, you lift it. But they were they were arguing in the office, like, no, you're not getting this, you're not well, yes, I am. No, like, and I'm like, oh, man, I wonder what's going on. And he would smell like, you know, he would smell like the restroom when he came up. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, he would. Yeah, but they some... were very, like, they were put together, but Colin was very, like. You had some empathy. You saw into it a little bit. Reached I in. did, man. And who knows? Colin's a thriving individual today. I'm an optimist, by the way. Man, Colin is right. <laughs> Not, he is not in school anymore. This was he ain't in school <laughs> this was twenty years ago. He's doing great. Oh man. He's got I, a family. I mean, I, I do think about that for lots of kids. I go, some of the things that cause trouble for these kids right now, yeah, might, yeah. if we can handle it and, and you know, like mold it and shape it a little bit, could be used for mm -hmm. something great, something later on mm -hmm. down the road. Uh, I I think that constantly. Now now let's get into this. You know, you're, you just came off your tour, We Outside mm -hmm. tour, uh, going around. Uh, sorry, I didn't make it to uh, any of the shows. Uh, it's oh, been sorry, been a busy time, but that's just an excuse, as someone would say. And, like, yes, it is. Uh, but uh, I'm just – I'm proud of you that you, – I mean, not that you haven't toured before, but you stepped out on your own, put it all together, uh, did some great things with it. So it was, it was really cool that you were doing that. But makes you wonder – like I think, you know, as you're as you're grinding through that, there's got there's got to be a time where, I don't know, do you you forget the lyrics or you you have something like go on before? So let me give you an example. Like in college, uh, Zappo and I, we were playing up. I don't. It was up at a Michigan school. I don't think it was Quinas, but I'm pitching and I'm warming up, and the bullpen is right next to the woods, mm. and so as as I'm warming up, my stomach is just like. Feeling <laughs> not good. I think we just right, had probably, right. I don't know, Subway. I don't even know if we got Subway because we didn't really get much. But might have been Subway before that. And so, literally, I'm like, I ain't stopping. Uh, like, I'm going to pitch today. And so, I take, like, five, ten steps over to the woods and just, just <laughs> let it eat. Just, it all comes out. Yes. Perfect. Uh, man, tell me how. I mean, I was feeling so much better. Uh, get up on the mound, start warming up. I don't really know how the game went, but I think it went pretty good. You ever had any, good. you ever had anything like that, where you just forget the lyrics or just some craziness yeah. going on with that? Yeah. Um, if I forget lyrics, I I like purposely stop a song, or if people request a song that I haven't sung in forever and I don't know the lyrics, I I usually make a moment out of it. Like, man, y'all gotta help me. <laughs> I gotta help me because I don't know the way. And I really like yesterday I was in Florida and I had a concert uh and they requested this song uh called Pray. 
I haven't done this song in forever, bro. <laughs> I'm like, y'all gonna have to get me through this moment, and they did. So, <laughs> no. for, for, I'm mumbling every word. I'm like, <laughs> you, you pray, you, 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 you prayed make, a little bit. Do you make up some words yeah, as you go? Yeah. yeah, you got you got to. You can't you can't fumble in that moment. Hey, so you you bringing back that that mumble rap that came in for a little bit. I had, I had to. I had to. And then you got to point to the crowd. You like, yeah, what I say? What I say? <laughs> <laughs> Truth comes out. Yeah, you're just acting like, "Oh, I'm tired." Yeah, I just yep. All the KB fans now know. <laughs> Come on. Now y'all know. Now y'all know that sometimes hey. we forget the lyrics, but, but we lean real. on y'all. That's I mean that's the real grind of it though like that's that's what yeah. you know it, it takes something special because we're talking here and, and I'm not going to necessarily dive into it right now but we always talk about like uh, you know mental skills maturity mm-hmm. ability to handle things when maybe they don't go as well as you want them to and that right there is like one of the hardest things about when you're performing I mean that's that's what as athletes we're performers entertainers more or less and as oh. as a you know music artist. That's exactly what you're doing. I mean, in, in the same type of way, right? And yep. And you ain't gonna it's be all a part of it, man. It's it is all part of it. Do you even know that? Come on, I see it in the back. You do see it in the back. Man. Oh no, we're not there, there yet. We're we're about to be there uh, at yeah. some point in time, but we're not there yet to to that segment. Uh, but hold yeah. your horses. We'll we'll be there soon enough. Well. Now, <laughs> now now tell me tell me about this. Zap, could you give? Like another crazy thing about when you're when you're going through the grind of whether it's your, I mean it doesn't matter what it is whether you're trying to uh, play a sport you're doing music uh, I mean mm-hmm. for people who are grinding business uh, whatever it might be like travel and amenities are not always the greatest thing early on Zap give give a could you give a rundown of like Bethel College what we had like we we're traveling the Maybe a little bit of the Possum Six Ooh. down into that, that hotel that was under new management. You remember uh, that one? Was that Tennessee or Florida? That was Florida. Yeah. Well, the pool, when we arrived after a 20-hour bus trip, no stop, sleeping on the bus, <laughs> which you don't sleep, but, you know, 5 a.m. rolls around, coach is hungry. So we're <laughs> somewhere in the panhandle north i don't we're we're not our destination yet and we finally catch some sleep and we are woken up to a <laughs> buffet 20, shoney's baby shoney's yeah buffet 5 a.m 5 15 first one's in which normally a college team rolling in is pumped about a buffet when nobody's there but i mean we literally just woke up and and it, how did how did oh. we get awoken for that oh gosh you, you remember what coach said <laughs> coach gets up and i'll give it to you Who's ready for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not Nobody. us. <laughs> well, you got to eat because you don't know when the next time you're getting food is. It's like scavenge. So <laughs> we finally get the destination. I think we had to play a game in the morning first. Oh, uh, for, probably, for sure. Or two. Rolled into the hotel, ready for a first night sleep after two games and 20 hours of no sleep on a bus. And guys are like, hey, let's go take a dip in the pool. <laughs> yeah, let's go. We're in Florida. And it's spring break, too. And we roll out there, and it is, like, lime green, blue, yellow. Oh, it's uh, disgusting. And before somebody noticed, somebody pushes somebody in, <laughs> and it was dark, and then it was disgusting. So, yeah, you never know what you're going to get at the hotel scene. I remember we would also – that those were outdoor hotels. I mean, I know there's, like, the indoor – Which that would be, what, the motel? What yeah, the motels and hotels. And then Holiday we, Inn. <laughs> Sorry, we're not doing that, but maybe think of that song. When, <laughs> when you actually get to the Holiday Inns and they actually have closed doors with air conditioning, it's nice. But then you go down to the gym and you're like, "All right, got to get get you know get jacked up. We got games this week. You know, maybe you're not pitching, so you got to go get a routine in." <laughs> and you roll down there, and there's like two twenty five pound dumbbells and a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Road Warriors gym, oh, baby. Yeah. When a bunch of athletes who are trying to do some incredible things just doesn't work out, and so that's, I mean, man, that oh, I I, I still remember we were that that same trip. Uh, we're we're walking. There's a group of us. A cop comes next to us and he's like, uh, "What are you boys doing? Oh, we're just down here for baseball. Uh, we're staying in that hotel over there." And he's like, "Oh, well, that thing just reopened, so you might want to check for needles when you're <laughs> going around there." Yikes. Thank you, sir. 
Yikes. So, all that say, Kiwi, how's your traveling been? What, uh, how, how do you travel? And, and tell us, you know, after you talk a little bit about that, maybe about your travel uh, partner in crime, my little guy, Kingston. Uh, but how, how, how are you traveling around? Man, traveling has been cool. Um, so our tour bus is a 16-passenger uh, van. Okay. Uh, that thing smells like gas half of the time. <laughs> uh, yo. That's good for the yeah. singing voice. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's, it's crazy. Um, but uh, Are you driving you know, or is someone else driving? Yeah, I help drive. So I have a drive, uh, the, my guy who helps drive, and then um, – it's if, okay if to say don't. you're a driver. It's okay. You can say <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. I'll drive sometimes. Represent. You know, but y'all were, y'all were talking, you mentioned the motel. I stayed in a motel before. It, it's pretty cool. It's interesting. Very nostalgic. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's one way to put yeah. it. It is nostalgic. <laughs> yeah. You see it on the movies all the time. Hey, right. Sometimes <laughs> you got to do what you got to do and there's no hating on it. Everybody's got hate stories. Hate on it, bro. Mm-mm. Nope. Don't hate on it, bro. Like, you know, sometimes the, you know, the bathroom ain't, you know, as up to par, but <laughs> it, it showers. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Hey, how about you been in one where the shower doesn't actually drain, though? Ooh. Oh, that's nasty. Uh, yeah, tell me again. That's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ever had one of those? On your feet. <laughs> oh, man, you don't know where that water's coming from. I mean, it's your water, but still. It's, it's... coming from your neighbor's side. Oh, oh man. Goodness. Oh, that's just gross to think about. Yeah, that's sick. That's sick. That's sick. Yeah, but so, I mean, you're heading down to Florida. You're getting out of it. Is there, uh-huh. I mean, has there been some, I don't know, unmet expectations in the mix of this where you're expecting to do this, it doesn't happen, or you, you don't? don't do it your 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 bus is breaking down or your van is or anything like that uh not well yeah uh two weeks ago like when, when we were going we were in ohio the van um the trailer caught a flat that's about it mm. or sometimes if we can't bring our sound system you know the the principal want me to wrap over the the big overhead <laughs> up above yes. oh really and, just like the pa the pa and wrap pa the, you know, Chuck, 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 chuck. There's no bass in those. <laughs> check, check, check. That mug's way in heaven, bro. Get that echo. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, like, it's like our interview on our last episode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like mama. Sorry about that, mama. We tried so hard. <laughs> You're rapping on the PA, dude. That is awesome. PA is horrible. Wow. So did you, you bring, learn to bring your own system. I was going to say, did you finally get one of those little, like, you know, old school beatbox that you can just bluetooth into and just just roll with it that'd be fire no nah, man we just uh we got we got a system with stanford truth so we we got a we got a sound system nice. but they you know kind of like the incident we had this summer he couldn't make it out so man we have to use what, what they had man I hear you. So i'm doing a concert with the pa speakers bro I no bass <laughs> I think there's no a song bass. literally <laughs> called No Bass. There is a song. I, I, I yeah. thought the song was just all about the bass. <laughs> yeah. No treble. <laughs> is, that, is that the wrong song? It was, <laughs> it was plenty. I'm all it, about that bass. About that there, bass. <laughs> there was plenty treble, but no bass. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Oh, but that's crazy. I I couldn't even imagine. But, but you're so, like, you're such an incredible guy that, like, I mean, even coming on here, we're like, hey, man, thanks for signing on early. You're just going to be hanging out because we don't have a producer. It's just me and Zappo. And you're like, oh, this is awesome, guys. Like That's your positivity, up. everything. Like, give me the PA. I don't care. Give me one of them bullhorns. Yeah. Come on, give me a bull. <laughs> yeah. And then he's going to dunk afterwards in the gym. <laughs> Show some peeps what's up. Show Colin what's up. <laughs> Hit me the conies now, Colin. Yeah, <laughs> can't even reach it when I'm on that rim. <laughs> yeah, I love it for all you Collins out there. Mm. Uh, hey, speaking yeah, of basketball, for for this moment, I will give a shout out to my Fisher's Tigers basketball team, who they were able to. Uh, wasn't always pretty, but able to beat their crosstown rivals, Hamilton Southeastern Royals, in the Mud Sock match. So proud of those boys doing great work, doing wonderful things. Um, I am not coaching them this year. 
and I miss it a little bit. That's why uh, they're winning, but that's fine. <laughs> it is. It is probably <laughs> why they're winning. They are seven and zero, number one team in the state. Uh, not that that means a whole lot, but hey, it as is kind of co- cool. As a coach, you develop, and so you're actually, you know, they are gleaning off of last year's coaching. Is the way you look at it. So yes, that's when you were there. That's what we'll talk about. But tell me about. Uh, Tell me about your mate that steals half the half the people from the shows. Who's coming along with you? Uh, one of the coolest guys that that I know that I usually get to see whenever we're on a call. Sometime, uh, tell me about your boy Kingston. Man, so that's my roadie, man. So uh, I did about seventy shows this year. He probably came to like forty of them. Uh, tell the people who he is. I don't even think they really know. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of yeah, like hinting at it, but never actually said. So Kingston is my son. He's four years old. Yeah. Um, one of the coolest dudes ever. He's on my song. We outside. Uh, he's he's with me everywhere. My dad used to bring me everywhere. There we go. In case you want King, to, we outside. In <laughs> he's in there. Uh, yeah. I, I I really enjoy bringing him on the road. Like we just got back from Florida yesterday. I want to show my son that you can be successful, mm. um, in a good light. So. Um, that's why I bring him, bring him with me. That's awesome. And, and he does great. I mean, he just hanging out around. Has he ever like yep. tried to pull any plugs out and then like <laughs> made it difficult for you? <laughs> Bro, one time, I think he must have had a fit. Well, he was scared. And see, you can hear him now. Getting ready for bed. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he walked on stage with me. He and I just picked him up and had a moment. Mm. I'm like, yeah. oh, it wasn't oh. part of the show, so that, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, it wasn't. It wasn't part of the show, but people were like, "Man, I love how you're a parent and you're also an artist. We appreciate the the real moment." Mm. Mm. That's that's so. really cool. I mean, that's some cool stuff, man. I mean, you're doing <laughs> cool thing, and and I don't know. You you probably don't want to talk to it about it, but I mean, there was someone who gave you some advice early on about him before he even came into this world, which is just yeah, kind of ridiculous. I don't know. Do you mm-hmm. want to share that at all? I don't know if that's yeah. you know, public you yeah. like to share or not. Like, yeah, so King's uh, King's name, um, Le Bonne, uh, means uh, light. So um, they named him that before he was born. Uh, it's, it's Sutu. His mom's from South Africa. Mm. Um, and his name means light. So everywhere King goes, he's a light. Mm. And, um, yeah. That's he's 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 a blessing. Um, yeah, I mean he's That's, a blessing. Well, because I mean there's a guy at a church you were attending, right? Who, yep. who, he, you, oh yeah. I mean you weren't you weren't married yet, but yeah. you know you you got your girl pregnant. Who is your wife? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And you guys are married, and you can watch on his YouTube channel uh, how he proposes, which is kind of cool at, oh, the, yeah. at the park uh, with all new. the people, nervous the whole time, uh, but like. I mean, to think how awesome that guy, you know, that kid is. But what what was the advice that that elder or something gave you? Um, uh, so here you go. Uh, All right. Oh, we got the Kingston right here. You got the. All right, go do your thing. That ain't gonna go in that door. So, <laughs> all right. Hey, just like your I shows, get- man. Natural. Yeah. This is why we do it live, baby, because you get the the natural bit of what it's like being a parent, doing life, doing all those different things. That boy getting a spank right now. So, so, there, there was, uh, <laughs> so somebody, uh, <laughs> Colin, no, no, somebody, somebody getting that Colin right now. Um, <laughs> so, there was all right. So, like a real, real life story. So, somebody tried to give me, so we weren't married when, when King was, uh, when we were pregnant with King. Someone tried to pay me to like abort my son and mm-hmm. i had told him no um just because they were like what about your platform i'm like i don't care about that you know and i stood up um stood up on it i said god's gonna take this away he'll take it away but when king came into the world y'all like my career actually took off mm-hmm. like everything that people thought i was gonna lose it took off because i was man enough to be like yeah, I was wrong. Me and my girl, like, yeah, we jumped the gun a little too early. Right. But I was also man enough to marry the same woman. Mm. Yeah. And, and and handle my business. So 
that's one of my biggest flexes. Like my my baby mama is my wife. Yeah, that's that's so. I mean, it's crazy that good Lord some way would say that, and yet yeah, he's inspiration. They have the money for me and everything. Like, oh, man, that's that's just crazy. Yeah, he does. Kind of, he no longer attends that uh, church. <laughs> yeah, come on. He outside. <laughs> he, he outside. outside. Yeah. <laughs> I hear that. <clears throat> That's good. Oh man, that's great. That was hilarious. <laughs> well, I'm I'm a comic relief. I don't know that I'm the comedian, but <laughs> I'm the relief. So he's outside now. Oh man, <laughs> no man, I, and I appreciate you you being willing to share that because I mean that's the that's the realness of life that's just coming through. You know all the things that are, that are taking place, just like just like Colin. You know, you meet his yeah. parents, and it's something crazy. Like we all got a story. Uh, no matter what we're doing, who we are, there's a story out there for everybody, and we're going through something, trying to figure something out, and and so it's it's not easy. Uh, but I do want to say, <clears throat> not that I didn't put this in the show notes yet because I forgot to change the description, but I, I will put it in there uh, once we're done with this. I just want you all to know you can find Kiwi, you know, at Instagram at I am Kiwi Morse on x at kiwi morse on youtube at kiwi morse and check in each thursday because Ooh. he's renewed his vlog in this series called cooking chicken on, and, and i don't Come think on. it's like cooking chicken like i did in the dominican where i am literally you know i was trying to eat some chicken hearts i'm taking the feathers off chopping heads off and doing that i don't <laughs> think that's what we're doing right what's what's your cooking chicken nah. there? so so growing up like Chicken was my favorite dish. My mom used to always cook it, and it was something I looked forward to. Um, so I just brought a piece of home with me. So cooking chicken to me is like whipping up something nice. So I make beets now. I'm I'm six or seven months in making beets, and uh, yeah, that's that's my cooking chicken right there. Nice. I like it. Yeah. Make, making beats. I, I looked at one of them when you're in there. You had your glasses yeah. on, looking all uh, professional <laughs> with those those specs on. Well, right now, know. right now, I'm trying to put a call out um, to to a listener to see if he'll listen uh, and take it in, which would be my son Cruz. Uh, I don't know if he'll if he'll answer or not, but where you at, Cruz? Come on, there he is. What's up, big man? There he is. Okay, so this might be difficult because I, like I said, we don't have a clue what we're doing, so it's it's possible that 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 Cruz. Uh, May not be able to hear uh, as oh. as well as I would like him to uh, with this. But Cruz, can can you hear me, man? Yeah. Uh, Kiwi, say Hi. what's up to Cruz. What's up, Cruz? How you doing? Oh, you can't hear him. Okay. Uh, so you got to translate for us. So so we'll translate. <laughs> but this is this is what I want, Cruz. Would you be willing to give us a little beatbox and see if Kiwi? Would give us just a little bit of maybe free something Better style freedom. in the mix of what's going on. What What do you think, brother? I know you won't be able to hear necessarily Kiwi with his words, but he can hear you. Do you think you could give us a little something, buddy? What? I don't really want to. It's okay if you don't want oh, to. That's man. fine, man. I, I'm 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 not gonna cut, uh, force you to do anything you don't want to do. But I know you were doing the Merry Christmas the other days. Mary, Chris, I can't, I can't do it. But uh, oh, I mean, Kiwi, Kiwi's. He said, "Please." I mean, he was nice. He did say, "Please, buddy." I'm trying to bribe right. him. Oh, mom's over right. there trying to bribe him. Next, next time, next time I'll come down. Be ready, bro, because we. He is. We we talked about that when you were at the house last time when he was beating you in the Papa shot, and we're like, hey, "What do you want? We're slow." <laughs> hey. I heard you. That's that's a zap over there. <laughs> giving us off. Ads, 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 okay, ads, ads, I can't ads, I can't do much, ads, but ads, ads, I just try to get crews going. Ads, 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 go crews, go crews. Gingerbread man coming. Ads, ads, ginger, 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 ginger. Yeah. yeah. It ain't hey, next time I come down there, bro, I'm beating you in that uh, basketball game. He tore me up last time. <laughs> oh, sound good, buddy. Hey, Cruiser, uh, appreciate you answering. 
Uh, we'll try a beatbox some other time. Thanks, buddy. We love you. See you, big Chris. Love you, bro. Kiwi said bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Peace. Oh. That's my guy right there. Oh, that's good. I, I I didn't think he would, but I'm glad he answered because again we're we're working on stuff and he he at least answered. But right now uh, we're gonna take it into as we're we're coming to to near end of all this stuff because we're just going because I'm having too much fun and I ain't even looking at the time. Uh, but this is my uh, well I will give the uh, no I took it off because I didn't want to play it. It's all part of it. It's all part of it. Brought to you by Justin Masterson Show. Cultivate culture where you can pick up sweet swag like Prayers Essential. Oh, look at you go. Oh, Zappo, give a little rundown of what it's all part of it means to uh, Kiwi so he gets a little understanding. Well, I mean, it, technically, he already knows all about it. I mean, he's, he's been telling the stories all about it. <laughs> it's, when, it's when Colin hits you in the middle of the day. It's when you get a flat tire on your 16-passenger van or 12-passenger van. It's, 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 uh, it's when he walks out on stage in the middle of a show. I mean, these were perfect. It's almost like you set him up. Oh, It's, it's when, it, it's when you're, you're trying to do something, and whether it's good or bad, something is getting in your way. Yes. Mm. That's, that's exactly what's going on. Something's getting in your way. It's causing trouble. And so it becomes a motto, just a motto of being able to think about the positive, not let the negative bring you down, and just continue to move forward, going like, it's just all part of the journey. That's what it it's is. So it. it's all part of it. And so that's that's become the motto. Learned in 2017. It's become the motto of my life in some ways, become the motto of this show, and currently of all the people who listen and I hang out with. <laughs> so we got – uh since you're here, I'll just I'll tell the story why you're here because it's fun having you on. Uh, so I had my people email me uh, any it's all part of it stories that they were having, and so one of my guys he did that, and we got this story from Mr. Matthew Cherry, who he has uh, established himself as the best high school baseball coach in the state of Indiana. I might be biased because he is the head coach of the Fishers Tigers, which I am a part of that staff. Uh, he definitely has the best staff in the state. Uh, shout out to all those guys. Uh, he is recovering from shoulder surgery currently. Uh, and he was able to send me an email about it's all part of his story. And this is what his story is. It says on Thursday before my surgery on Friday, the day before his surgery, and this is what takes place. Since I'm not the most handy guy ever, I had a guy come over to fix our garbage disposal that had been leaking for months. Shout out to Chris. We keep him in business. Within 10 minutes of Chris finishing the job and leaving, I turn on the faucet only to have the entire faucet handle break off in my hand. The original faucet slash sink from the building of the house circa 2000, while I'm trying to figure out how to turn off the running water with no handle, I just had to laugh and thought, it's all part of it. Thanks for explaining that in your first episode. It helped me laugh it off and had a new sink installed by my buddy Joel on the Sunday after my surgery. Wow. That's crazy. And that is what you have for the it's all part of it stories. <laughs> uh, again, if anybody out there, you got one, just send me an email, masty at the Justin Masterson show dot live. Love to hear from you about it. It's all part of it or anything else. Uh, you can tell me what you don't like. I probably won't listen, but I'll read it. Tell me what you do like. I'll read that. Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> so, Kivi, I mean, you've just been telling us this whole time a whole bunch of the it's all part uh -huh. of the stories. It's beautiful. <laughs> Man. Hey, can I get – you got any hoodies? Can I rock that? Uh, you know what? I don't have any yet. I am working on getting it. So, so back there – and I just took off my other designs. Uh, I'm getting a few made. So I will get some hoodies in there and have It's All Part of It. Because there's also another one where I want to put a uh, my big head on the front and It's All Part of It on the back. Uh, once I get all this swag going, which has not been a high priority for me, even though it should be, I mean, you are definitely going to get some because yeah, I'm excited about it. You can rock that. And, sure. and if you're wondering why Zappo over there, He's rocking, you know, the cultivate culture. Prayer is essential. Fresh. And I am just, you know, rocking my uh, 
Snowman. Just do it. Snowman. Just, what does it say? Uh, just chilling is just what it chillin'. says at the bottom. Because when Kiwi came in town, uh, oh, I did man. not go meet up with him because yeah. I was doing something else <laughs> and wasn't available. I and said, so to rub it in my face, yep. he decided to give. <laughs> I said, make, make hey. Justin jealous, bro. Jason. Hey. Jason jealous. Uh, we even sent a pic to him. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> oh, that you did. You bunch of hooligans. I love it. I got you, bro. No problem. Hey, well, well. on that, uh, as we conclude this up, we're just going to end it all together. Uh, I got my little motto, a uh, little thing that I want to continue on. You know, last week we were talking about, or la- last year we were talking about eating cake, being curious, and, uh, you know, appreciating others and showing kindness and using eye contact. And this, it got me thinking where I was thinking, have a great day. And then I was like, you know what? Instead of have a great day, make it a great day. Mm. And usually, like the stories, I, I looked it up. The people who are saying, like, make a great day had some, like, bad thing happen to them. Maybe someone in their family got cancer or lost somebody. And so now mm-hmm. they're trying to renew that and make up for it. But I'm just like, instead of even waiting for that, like, we know that, like, God has blessed us way more, mm-hmm. even in the midst of the difficulties that come our way, even in the midst of the it's all part of it stories and the grind that we're going through. And, and so one works on the external, which is the have a great day. And the one is on the internal, which is make it a great day. And, mm-hmm. and so when we're able to make it a great day, I think that that changes what we, what we think about, uh, what we dwell on, and what we enjoy. And so what would you think about that, Kiwi? That's fire. I'm, <laughs> I'm make tomorrow a great day, a, a wonderful day. Hey, man, I hope that you make uh, – that you make tomorrow a great day, that you make today a great day, uh, this evening, make it all great. On behalf of my best buddy over here, Zappo, myself, we're here at Indie Pod Labs. You need somewhere to do something, come check it out. Kiwi, can't thank you enough for being on the show. I had so much fun with you. Thanks for sharing your stories, being vulnerable, being honest. You're an awesome guy. We'll probably have you on here again. Uh, but on behalf of everybody here thank you for showing up see you on another day see you guys thank you peace